appreciate you coming and the great crowd again today. Um, obviously, Maryland was better than us in, in every area. Um, didn't have any, you know, the energy in the first half. Uh, I thank the second group there that came in and gave us great energy in the second half. It's a 40-minute league. You know, I tell our guys this all the time. You know, we beat Maryland at Maryland. They came in here and, and they won. So, you know, Kevin Willard took it a hat. Um, they got in the lane. Um, we, we didn't do what we needed to do. Um, I really thought in the first half our inability to make a free throw, and we missed three one and ones just to kind of hang around and stay a little closer, um, you know, really hurt us. But, you know, I got to get us to play better. And, um, you know, that's obviously on me. And, uh, you know, we still got a lot of basketball left. And, you know, we've been inconsistent, and I need to try to get us consistent here down the stretch. Steve, why was Maryland more physical? How much of that was guys being let down over missed shots? You know, I think we do have that, you know, you know, and, and you know, we have a little bit of an identity like, you know, in games, Mar um, Minnesota, we're making shots and then our defense kind of lets us down. This game, we weren't making shots and then we're going to the free throw line and not capitalizing, you know, where we, we needed to do. And I do think we do have that, you know, some of that. And, um, you know, we had a group in there at the end there that, that played with great energy, kind of clawed us back. I think it was a 10-point game. We had a breakaway layup that we, you know, didn't convert. Um, and we needed all those things to kind of happen for us, especially after spotting them. You know, and they're really good. They're really good defensively. They're one of the best teams in the country defensively. You know, we just um, never really got into a rhythm. And, uh, you know, again, the free throw line really hurt us here at home and, and uh, could have kept us in, in it a little bit more. But I do think that affects us when the ball's not going in. It affects us, and that's a bad personality trait. Steve, you went about 11 and a half minutes without a basket during, during a stretch there. Yeah. As a coach, is that frustrating, embarrassing, uh, I, make I, you angry? I mean, we did down there too. So, like, they're really good. You know, the, the difference was we didn't allow them to score for 12 minutes. So... You know, that's what they kind of do, and that's how they've won games this year. So I tip it a hat to them. But, you know, again, you know, the shots that we do get have a chance to go in. And then when you're at that free throw line, three one and ones in the first, like you got to come away with a point during that stretch. And, and, and we didn't. So is it frustrating? I mean, this league is tough. I mean, every game's different. There's really good teams, really good coaches. And, and uh, you know, so when you're in a stretch like that, you still got to figure out a way. And, and I thought we could kind of claw ourselves back into the, into this basketball game. You know, I held them 63 points, but can't put up 46. That's not where we want to be. And, you know, um, obviously against a team like that. And they got us on the inside. They they made their free throws, you know, just a lot of things that we didn't do. Um, Brian, you guys have had Jeremiah in the lineup for seven games. Have you felt that opponents have adjusted to what he brings and kind of what's the next step for you guys in, in that? Yeah, I mean, always that, you know, that happens. You know, there's tapes out and, uh, you know, there's tapes out on everybody. And when you're playing well, they're going to key on you. Um, they're going to take advantage of whatever they think they can take advantage of. And when teams have extra time, you know, then they can take more advantage of, of that. But, you know, that happens. He's a good player. And, uh, you know, he continues to play hard. He did a great job in the second half. But, um, you know, that definitely is what happens. You know, when Cliff has a good game, the next time you play, like, there's a different kind of defensive scheme that he's going to see. You know, these coaches in, in are, are good, and their their team is good. And I thought Reese did a good job in the post. I thought Cliff, the last time we played, was was was, was and, and and they made a couple changes. They they did some things against us that you know they didn't do the first time too. So that's what happens. Sure. You know. uh, Coach, uh, the uh, Maryland got an edge in the glass. Um, what did you make of just? I know you touched on it a little bit there, but how the matchup went in the glass and yeah. why you felt they I were mean, able to do that. I uh, mean, they got a big edge, too. I mean, we went small because I thought that group gave us some some energy and Oscar at the five, um, you know, but – and we scored some points during that stretch, and I thought we kind of um, got, got like a little momentum going on. But when you go small, you're going to give up something. And, you know, Geronimo did a good job on the glass, and now you got smaller guys boxing out other guys and – you know, and that's what happens. And when you're looking for solutions in the game, you try some different lineups and matchups. And I was thankful that, you know, Austin stayed with it. You know, he's been one of those guys that, you know, his knees and sometimes he can't play, sometimes he can. I didn't play him in the first half. And, you know, in the second half, he gave us some good, good you know, good energy and some toughness. You know, so a little tip of the hat, you know, to him for staying the course and, and being able to kind of give us some of that energy. But you're also, 
replacing bigger guys with smaller guys, and they took advantage of that on the glass, and for sure. Steve, it seems like there's been a concerted effort, at least from the Big Ten, to hand out technicals to prevent trash talk. Were you notified about that going into the season, and what's your opinion on that? I mean, you know, it's starting to become a thing, you know, around the country. A lot of, you know, a lot of technicals, you know, and uh, there's been some fights and some other things. So there's been some memos out and, you know, that kind of thing. Um you know, it's just, you know, there's a lot of obstacles in this league and there's a lot of, you know, it's not just the other team, it's the other coach. It's, you know, playing on the roads an obstacle and now, you know, how the, how the whistle's being blown. So we got to do a better job of making sure we're not in, 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 in the sh- crosshairs there, you know. Um, and so, uh, you know, there is more of an emphasis and they're sensitive about those things and, you know, um, there's always emphasis every year about something, and so this is a big stretch right now where they're they're into that. Ellis, uh, after being out last game, Watt Mag played 18 minutes. How's he feeling after today's game? And yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, Watt's you know been really battling. I'm you know I'm proud of him. You know, it's not easy having that injury, and there's a, a toll it takes. And you know, some days he can practice, some days he can't. Some days he can play, some days he can't. You know, so. Those guys have had to, you know, fight through it and stuff. I hope he feels okay, but you know, we go game by game, you know, with him. Unfortunately. Jerry, Steve, you can continue to fill this place. Uh, do you have a message to your fans who obviously are leaving uh, disappointed? I, I love it, but I also they, they've been awesome. The, the reason we've won 85% of our home games over the last five years is because of the fan base. They come. They, they've seen a lot of W's. They've seen some L's, obviously too, but. They have been, you know, fantastic. And students were there today. It's, you know, early game, too. You just never know. Um, and they were loud, and they, they really tried to get us, you know, going in the second half. And, you know, I, I know you guys know this. I, I appreciate it. I try to thank them every time I see them. You know, they make a huge, huge difference. And uh, we really, you know, we're really thankful for them coming out all the time and, you know, just, just being supportive. And these guys are, are working. They really are. And I want them to know that they represent the program the right way and they're working. And so, you know, stay the course, you know, and, and appreciate their support always. John? Coach, you spoke on the offensive struggles tonight. Um, you know, tonight it just seemed like you guys were holding the ball a little bit longer. I want to know, you know, is that a credit to that one three one they threw at you? Or is, do you think overall it was just a tough shoot tonight and just yeah, tough Yeah, I mean, you know, you know, yeah, both. You know what I mean? So, uh, you know they they're a really good defensive team first and foremost so like that that's and that's how they built their identity too um so we knew it wasn't easy the first game we knew it was going to be easy the second game um but you know they did a really good job you know being active and, and and doing some different things i think once we started moving the basketball better and you know i won't really want to get out and transition but you know they 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 throw a lot of different stuff at you they got some full court stuff they're they're really a lot like us we throw a lot of different things at you so you know, keeps you off rhythm and, and what have you. And then, you know, when you're searching for answers, you, you're subbing guys in and, you know, it's a little bit different. But I really believe in the first half, if, you know, the free throw line is your best asset during, you know, tough scoring times. And you, you got to go there and, 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 you know, especially when you're struggling to make shots, you know, and that's a big part of it. And I haven't been able to get us to shoot free throws the way that, you know, we need to. On the road, we're very good from the free throw line. I just don't know why here at home we're not as successful, you know. And, and um, you know, that needs to change, especially in a game like this. When we're making threes like we did against Wisconsin, you know, the, it's not as glaring. But when you struggle to score, you want to get to the free throw line. And, you know, we got to do a better job. We certainly do. Steve Watt, Watt sat for 13 minutes after he got teched. Uh, was that because of the tech? Was that his pain management? I, I was I, I was just going with that group that was playing well, you know. So I love him a lot. You know, it wasn't you know like, uh, I, you know I, I was just looking for a group and that group was playing with great energy. They were sharing the ball. They were playing together and, you know, I just wanted to kind of ride a, a group that I felt was, you know, was playing well at that point in time. All right, just quick follow up on that. What, what was the explanation you got on his tech and Austin's tech? Um. You know, I, I wish I could remember, but you know, his was a push. I think like some some there was a push, and Austin, I guess was. I mean, he said, "Block that shot" or something like that. So Austin said something. I don't know. I don't know how you, you can hear things. I can't hear you know anything. But 
it is what it is. And when you, you know, you, you need points and you, you know, those things happen. So you know, that's what I kind of think it was. Coach, uh, Jeremiah Williams finished with uh, four fouls. Uh, Cliff had three. Uh, how much of a factor do you think like the fouls that were picked up during the game had on sort of? I mean, you know, as you guys know, and I, it's not the first time I said that, you know, how the whistles are being blown always affects the game. So that's not anything new. That's, you know, every game. And, you know, Jeremiah's got to do a real good job. We talked a lot about that, about, you know, making sure he doesn't pick up the bad ones. You know, and I would say the same thing to Andre and Cliff. You know, the, when you get a couple of those, that just when you get the real ones, you know, the bad ones really, you know, double down and, and hurt you. But, um, you know, refs have tough jobs, and you know, and, and we got to do a better job of defending without fouling, especially those guys, important guys for us. All right, thank you guys. I appreciate you guys being here. Really do. Thank you.